There goes my first day of school. Good morning. I'm not even tired, surprisingly. I woke up without my alarm. And I went to sleep back at 11. I don't know. I took a nap yesterday, so. I think right now I should go straighten my hair. I don't know. Let's go see. This bathroom's a mess. Oh my god. I woke up earlier, so I guess I have time to do my hair. Thank you to Mix Easy for sponsoring this video. Sorry, I've not uploaded this collab in so long, but I want to make sure it was a proper time. So why not when back to school videos are more, you know, popular? And also, that's going to be making us stress, and we're going to be breaking out, and we're going to need some skincare. So thank you to Mix Easy for sponsoring this video. Um, I will show a recording here of um, how you can customize your own products. I got the face wash and the face mask and I use those all the time and I love the face mask so much. I totally recommend both of them. So thank you to Mix Easy and I'll show you guys a tutorial on how you can get your own personalized stuff and use my code. I will put my code up on the screen for 20% off. Thank you Mix Easy for sending me these two products. I got the Mix Easy fa custom face cleanser and the custom face mask. So thank you guys. Good morning everyone. I'm aware of how bad my skin looks right now. I am currently breaking out and it is the most embarrassing ever. Sorry for the low energy earlier. I literally had just woken up and I grabbed my phone to record. I wanted to film a few times over quarantine, but every time I did and I made a few videos, I never liked them. So, who knows if this video will even go up. Usually I do like a full ass like crazy look. Why can't this go on? Okay, sorry. But, today I'm just doing a, a natural look with a little bit of color. Nothing like, I'm not doing eyeliner, not doing like, an eyeliner right there or like a wing. I'm just doing natural makeup because that takes way too long. And plus, it's for school, so I don't think that's really necessary for right now. Maybe later in the future, I'll do that. But I'm literally talking nonsense, but yeah. Should I put my hair up? I really should put my hair up. Um, that was a lot. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I hate these baby hairs. They're always getting in the way of my forehead. Um, how was your guys' summer slash quarantine? I did not do anything, obviously, because we are in quarantine, so I didn't go anywhere. Uh, I went to LA on 4th of July weekend, and I got in a car accident. So, some guy, we are on our way to get dinner, and we were right around the corner from the place we are gonna eat at. And then, someone T-boned into us, right in front of UCLA. So, that was the worst experience. Um, luckily, no one was hurt, but it was still pretty scary. Um, kind of scared to go back to LA, but you know what? It's fine. That's where my sister lives. That's where I love being. 
you know so i guess things happen but there were many things we could have done to prevent it because we kept going back and forth to this one place my sister wanted to go we kept um driving around the rest the air so we kept driving around like the place we wanted to eat at because there was like no parking it was like the sides it was like a side store or side restaurant whatever you want to call it so it was just like there were so many things that could have like prevented it but again i feel like everything happens for a reason so maybe just maybe we are meant to like go through that experience but it pretty it sucked because um our car was pretty bad and we were obviously in la which is like out of town which is like a four three hour drive where from where we live right now so got a car accident four hours away we weren't home so and we had a rabbit so we didn't want like you know him to like starve or anything we had to like get home in a hurry to take care of him we don't live in la obviously so it's not like we could, like call a tow truck and go home no we live three and a half hours away so that was pretty scary but we ended up taking a risk and driving home early we had plans for the rest of the day rest of the weekend but they all went down the drain since our car was literally wrecked we went to go take it to get fixed and then it came back with more damage which is literally crazy to say when you take it to like a car place it came back with more damage when you take it there to get fixed but we took it back again for the second time like of two weeks later and they fixed it so we haven't had any problems right now but it's just it was like a whole month long like situation we had to go through luckily we didn't have to pay anything because insurance covered everything but it was just pretty scary and um wow fourth of july was crazy <clears throat> um so yeah quarantine was kind of boring i saw my friends once that was when corona had calmed down and we thought it was almost over luckily you know no one was sick no one got sick we were just in the house no one else was with us but that was the beginning of june and that was the last time i saw them because as you know corona literally got worse and no one could see each other except i know almost 90 percent of people i know are still seeing their friends like boo corona is still a thing please wear your mask out in public you know like if you're gonna have social distance fine you can't fine wear a mask it's not that hard but oh yeah and it pisses me off like literally people when they wear a mask there's no point in wearing it if it's not above your nose like people it is not that hard you just need to put it over your nose and science have proven scientists have proven it does not affect your breathing like i have asthma it doesn't affect my breathing yeah it's uncomfortable and i feel like i can't breathe but it's just our minds tricking us but we could breathe perfectly fine and it's hot where i live it's like over like a hundred sometimes but like you know what we gotta deal with it you know so like people just need to follow the rules when like people say like my body my choice oh so okay you agree with abortion then no this uh, don't even get me started people are just like there are so many people in this world that like annoy me people that are pro-life people that are like that like the orange man that like i don't even like saying his name but like i even know personal people in my life that like so close to me that like him and i'm just like oh. but it's fine i can't do anything about it i've tried telling them why they shouldn't like him but they don't care they're like oh that's just the internet you know they they, they say things to make them look bad you know what you know every trump supporter says but what can you do about it so as you can tell by the title today is my first day of school and i am not going to school and sadly it is my junior year thankfully it's not my senior year because if it was my senior year i would literally cry but Thankfully, it's not. It's just junior year. Kind of sucks. I won't get to have like a junior, you know, homecoming or guaranteed prom. But 
it's okay as long as everyone's safe and healthy that's all that matters um if it was my senior year i'd honestly really be heartbroken because like it's senior year and that's like where like all your hard work is like worth it you know like prom and homecoming and like just graduating man like i feel so bad for the seniors last year and this year because honestly with COVID, we don't know we're gonna be going back to school they say hopefully in january but i don't think so i think maybe maybe just a very small slight chance class of 22 would be fine but that's pretty far stretch honestly i hate covid i hate it took a lot of stuff away i was supposed to go to stranger con in april but then they postponed it for august then they postponed it for march of 2021 and so don't know if i'll get to go to that but if i do cool if i don't um oh well i mean i already met millie once so like i was gonna meet finn and like the other cast members but it's okay their health is way more important you know it's just the only thing i would be really hurt about is graduation because i went through a lot in high school and school and knowing that would be taken away or not there it just breaks my heart but it's okay enough with my rant about school i'm literally starting junior year i need to stop overthinking that i know a lot of people have like a hard time waking up for school and stuff but my whole life i've never struggled with that i don't know why but thankfully i haven't i've just always had the energy like to wake up early and feel nothing like i won't feel exhausted or anything but during the school year, that happens quite a lot, not gonna lie. But like on like important days, like I know it's important. My body physically wakes me up and be like, okay, it's important. You cannot miss it. You know, you need to get ready. You need to wake up now. Like first day of school, I don't even need an alarm, honestly. I set them just in case, like just, just in case, but I really do not need them. My body physically wakes me up by myself. And like it doesn't matter if I went to sleep like an hour before or like 10 hours before, my body will literally wake me up and be like, hey, it's time, you know, I need to get ready, like now. It hit me, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I finished getting ready, obviously, and why does my makeup look like this? Like all right here, it just looks so stupid. I promise I blended out, it doesn't look like fine person, but try the zoom link again nope it says this access denied well there goes my first day of school um nothing's working um one of my teachers are watching this click off now i'm sorry <laughs> i haven't even started my first class yet i'm really really tired i don't know why like i know oh god I know some people didn't even sleep at all, but like, I need sleep. I am an old lady and I went to sleep at like maybe 11.45, maybe almost midnight and I am exhausted. I don't wanna go to sleep. Good morning guys, it's currently 8.37. I was supposed to start class 17 minutes ago but none of the links are working and I'm not the only one. No one can get in right now. And my teacher is trying to figure it out, but I don't think we're going to be able to make it into first period. I think we'll probably just kind of have to move into second period at 9.20. Right, let me see. Yeah, 9.20. Um, I finished getting ready and that's it, really. I had breakfast. Hi guys, so. It's been a while since I last talked to you guys. Um, not that long though, but um, I couldn't get into my first period, so I basically only have two classes today, Spanish and then my third period, which is not even on here yet. But it's history or geography or whatever like he calls it. But um, basically the links weren't working so now it is 9 16 and at 9 20 i will be starting my second period um hopefully it starts soon but 
I'm really, really tired, and thankfully I only have two classes today. Usually I have three, and then I'm done for the day. Um, I don't want to sleep because I want to have my sleeping schedule back on track, but if I really need like a little rest, then I might, but I will see. I'm just really, really exhausted right now, and I'm kind of excited to see my class and my teachers. You know, it's already almost 9.20, and I haven't even seen anyone yet. I mean, I haven't seen people in so long because of quarantine and COVID and everything, so I'm just excited to kind of start school. I just kind of miss my school, though. I wish I could go, but as long as everyone stays safe and healthy and clean, then it's more important, but um, I'll update guys later. Hopefully, this class works.